Hi everyone, welcome to Salesforce Techbook. Our today's topic is field dependencies and limitations of pick list. In today's session, I'm going to cover what is field dependency. In field dependency, we will be having controlling field and dependent field. We'll get to know what is controlling field and what is dependent field. Then I will show you the practical demonstration of creating a field dependency between two fields. Then the considerations of field dependencies and finally the limitations of pick list. Let's start with what is field dependency. Field dependency means controlling a field value based on another field. This is a feature that allows us to create a relationship or connection between two fields of an object. The data types that allow field dependency are pick list and checkbox. Again, checkbox cannot be a dependent field. It can only be a controlling field. So in other words, we can define field dependencies as special type of filters that allow us to change the contents of a pick list based on the value of another field. Based on the value of other field, we are narrowing the values available in the dependent pick list. Field dependency helps us to guide the users to select more relevant values. It saves the user interface space. So further it improves the data integrity. Here in the field dependency, we are having two fields. One is controlling field, other one is dependent field. Controlling field is the one which controls the value of another field and dependent field is which value being controlled by the controlling field. Those are dependent fields. Let's see with the example. I am taking lab object. In the lab object I have a single select pick list called lab type and a multi select pick list called lab equipment. In the lab type, I'm selecting computer lab. In the lab equipment section, I'm choosing some values randomly. But here, this protractor, balance scale, these are not related to computer lab. But I'm able to select those values also. What I want to have here is, if I select chemistry lab type, then only the lab equipment which is related to chemistry lab should be here in the multi-select pick list. In our example, we are taking lab type as the controlling field and lab equipment is the dependent field. Based on the selection in the controlling field, we will be able to narrow the values available in the dependent pick list. So through field dependency, we are able to do it. Let's start creating the field dependencies. From setup, go to the object manager. We are creating the field dependency between two fields in the lab object. Fields and relationships. Here we have the option to field dependencies. Create a new one. Controlling field is lab type and dependent field is lab equipment. Continue. So when you select computer as the value in the lab type single select pick list, what are the values you want to include in that? Those values we can choose under lab equipment section. After selecting the values, press include values. Then in the chemistry section, what values you want to Keep those you can choose and press include values. The remaining values I want to keep in the physics section. Include values. So save. We have created the new field dependency here. If you take lab equipment multi select pick list, here you got the controlling field as lab type. How it reflects in the user interface? Let's see. Lab object. Select a value in the lab type pick list. We have selected computer. Then oh, the equipment of computer lab is available here. If you choose another value, chemistry lab, then only the chemistry lab equipment is available here. This is how we 
can create field dependency between two fields and through this we can narrow the available values of the dependent pick list right then let's go back to the considerations of field dependencies here in our example lab type is the controlling field lab equipment is the dependent field lab equipment is a custom multi select pick list custom multi select pick list can be a dependent field it cannot be a controlling field because multi select pick list values are not stable that is why it cannot control the value of another field so it can be a dependent field if you take standard pick list standard pick list can be a controlling field it cannot be a dependent field based on other values based on other pick list value or based on other checkbox value we cannot change the values of standard pick list but custom pick list can be dependent field it can be controlling field either way another data type that supports field dependency is checkbox whether it is standard checkbox or custom checkbox the checkbox can be a controlling field it cannot be a dependent field because in checkbox we have only two options either check it or uncheck it so we don't need to have it as a dependent field let's discuss some other considerations controlling field can have default values whereas dependent field cannot have default values because the values are depending on another field so we cannot put the default values for the dependent field and field level security for controlling field and dependent field are independent they are not related to each other we can specify the field level security of controlling field and dependent field separately it's not like a dependent field field level security derived from the controlling field it is not like that it when creating field dependency with existing fields it does not affect the existing values in the records after creating the field dependency it applies to the new records a controlling field can have up to 10 dependent fields in field dependencies for example p is the controlling field p can have q or s like that it can have up to 10 dependent fields but the vice versa is not possible each dependent field can only be associated with a single controlling field but a controlling field can have multiple dependent fields associated with it and the limit is up to 10 now we'll move on to the limitations of pick list first one is limit on number of values when we are creating custom pick list a restricted pick list can have up to 1000 values both active and inactive values together we can have up to 1000 values for a restricted pick list an unrestricted pick list can have up to 1000 active values and up to 4000 inactive values when it comes to multi select pick list a multi select pick list can have up to 500 values and at a time we can choose 100 values from available list to chosen list we can select 100 values at a time then if you take global pick list global pick list limits are also up to 1000 values for both active and inactive values we can have up to 1000 values in an org in a salesforce org we can have up to 500 pick list value sets that means we can have up to 500 global pick list the next limitation is difficult to modify once a pick list is created and used it can be challenging to modify the values if we make any changes to the pick list it can affect the data that's already been entered next one is limitations in reporting pick list values cannot be used in reports as individual columns or individual groupings so it will be difficult to create certain reports but bucketing feature helps to manage the pick list values in reporting next data integrity when we need to remove or replace pick list values in bulk it may cause some data integrity issues these are few limitations of pick list despite the limitations still pick list is a powerful field type which helps to maintain the data consistency This is about field dependencies and limitations of pick list. I hope you got clear idea on pick list now. Keep learning. Thank you so much. And please subscribe to Salesforce Techbook.